Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. Today we are doing another featured Friday specimen and this is our specimen. So what you can see here is that's the back of it and on the kind of the inside of this portion where it's divoted there you see a couple different kinds of crystals. Uh, your challenge is to figure out what kind of crystal we're dealing with. Well, what mineral. Sorry, what mineral is this? That's your challenge today. So, see if you can determine. I'll show you a lot of different views of it. We have a, a whitish band there across the middle. And you can see it's kind of glistening there. Beautiful. You can see the shape there of that mineral. Your challenge is to guess what mineral this is. And then when, when you think you know it, drop it in the comments. So... Now, another thing that's interesting is there's another thing going on there, some other mineral form going on around our whitish band. So, do we have two different types of minerals here? Do we have two minerals, and if so, what are they? Could that mineral form two different ways? Is this one type, and that's a different type, or is it the same thing? What's, what's going on with this? Um, this is a pretty cool specimen. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Those are fairly small crystals lining the top and bottom there, but you can get a little shimmer so you can see what they look like, and hopefully you can discern the shape a little bit. But that middle band, you can, you can get the, the mineral shape a lot more, the crystal shape there, by turning it for you. Okay, so take a guess at what you think this guy is. What, what, what mineral do we have here? Now, if we were actually trying to properly identify minerals, we would do some tests on this. Um, and there are a lot of different tests you do. You might make a guess at what you think it is and then try a test and to verify it. Um, I recommend getting your hands on a field guide, specifically a mineral, some kind of mineral handbook or field guide. Um, Audubon makes a decent one. I talk about that in a little more detail in the rock hounding kit uh, video where I tell you what to bring in the field uh, because you'll need some tools with that as well. And there's some really simple, handy, cheap things that you can bring along with you just to do some initial tests to find out what you have. And that helps if you're looking, if you're rock hounding and you're looking for a specific mineral, um, then you'll want to you want to have some of those tools with you. You want to obviously identify what you're looking for properly. And um, yeah, so just check that out. I, I go into a lot more detail as to what you should bring. And then I also do one that demonstrates how to do, how to apply techniques of mineral identification. Um, so that's here as well if you're interested. But for today, we're just identifying this by, you know, visually, which this one actually, you, there, in some forms, it can get, mixed up with other minerals so in all fairness you do want to be careful but there are some some shape features going on here that should give you a pretty good hint if you're familiar with this mineral and you want to look really closely at that shape to identify it okay so what we actually are dealing with here is calcite so if you guessed calcite that's what it is and yes that and that they're both, they're, we're dealing with calcite in the interior here um, of this whole thing. So calcite actually can have different crystal forms. Um, this is a pretty classic a rhombohedral form. Um, that means it's not a cube. Um, look up the shape of a rhombohedral and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but this is, this is it's, it kind of has a cubic form. It's just not exactly one. But just to, you know, get your eye on that shape. That's what we're seeing here. And then some other forms. There's, there's a couple different forms of calcite that you'll find. It can, it can kind of have a druzy lining even on the inside of geodes and stuff. But um, then when they start sticking out, we can get a dog tooth spar. This dog tooth shape. I show some larger dog tooth spar samples in other videos. So if you're interested, just check those out here at Let's Go Geo and you can see... Um, and I do a whole video on calcite specifically and some on, you know, how do, how do I identify calcite versus other minerals 
um, in the field. What are the lookalikes? So check those out if you're interested in learning a little bit more if you're interested in collecting these types of clear uh, or whitish minerals like quartz and gypsum or selenite and calcite and stuff like that because I talk in a lot more detail. But today this is just kind of a from the collection, from the field sample to get you excited about what is out there. So I will take you guys on more adventures soon here at Let's Go Geo. Keep exploring and join me on the next adventure.